right now, as you can see, I have all my plants here. Like I said, I organized and repotted these home use right here. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to take one, one or two at a time, bring them here, clean them, check for pests, and then put them in that corner. And then once those are all there, as they, as they air dry, let's say a little bit, I'll just sweep and like mop real quick. All right. Um, I'm debating if I should clean these guys too because they're they just came from outside. I just had a spider <laughs> that crawled out of there earlier. Same thing with my Brazilian. Um, why not? I think I'll try. I just don't want to have to attach it and then reattach it here. So I'll figure out something I can do. There's also the peacefully here. The well, there's nothing to clean here. I'll probably just add more pest stuff there. And there's also my mustard adicionai. My cheese one, clean that one. That one had a really big issue with root aphids. I think we're still working through it. I wonder if this was the vent right here. I hope not, because it just started come. Oh, it's browning again. I might have to move this guy. We'll see. Anyways, I don't think he'd be able to hand to stay here during winter. And we have my snake plant, which is just chilling, always in a great mood, always vibing. But oh, this guy is growing so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out. Sorry about that. I just don't like it. Just being all over the place like that. Just stand there while waiting. There you go. So yeah, we're gonna start cleaning. I have a little bit of apple cider, apple cider vinegar already diluted with water. I'm just gonna add my neem oil and a little bit of alcohol dilution in here and we're just gonna spray the leaves and wipes so i have regular i don't have any like cotton um like cotton towels or anything so i have paper towel and if i have to get in the nitty gritty we have some q-tips so hopefully i don't make a mess holy shit this actually smells strong for how much i diluted but hopefully it doesn't mess up my plants I don't have to go too crazy with it because once I'm done, I'm just going to put it back in here. And we're going to hop right into it. I apologize already if it's like a little bit on the darker side. Um, I don't really have the best lighting, but we are trying with what we have, right? So have my pretty Birkin here. Actually, I feel like I should be on my knees. Yeah, hold up this pillow. Two minutes. Spray it lightly. Just wipe. I don't go aggressive. I try to be as soft as I can. As I can, sorry. Maybe in the parts. Some of them still have like dirt. When I first repotted them, so a lot of them are actually pretty clean. Some of them are a little bit sticky, and I think that's from last time when. I did like a very deep like neem oil plants, added way too much neem oil. So for this little solution, I actually looked up how much you normally need to, I think we're okay. So that's one down. To be safe, I'm not going to use the same paper towel. Different paper towel for each plant. <laughs> Second, we have this guy, which is my great reverse spider plant, which was a wish list plant. Oh my god, look at this leaf! So pretty. This was a wish list plant. Oh, it's already bruising a bit. I don't like that. For spider plants. A good amount of them so I just lightly brush over each one where I sprayed
You want to get under the leaves, top of the leaves. Whichever ones I see that forgot to pull drop is on them. That's how I know I didn't touch it. I don't like how this one has like bruises like that. There you go. It's a baby, so she took less time. She's already giving me little flowers, I guess. I don't know if these are actual babies or just flowers because they look so much smaller than my other spider plant babies. Now I'm going to show you guys. We'll show you guys. Now I'm going to clean one of my postal propagations. I have two of them, I believe. I apologize if you guys hear a bunch of knocking and ringing. It's like people trying to sell something or I don't fucking know. They need money somewhere. So I've just been ignoring it because I don't like opening the door just to tell you to go away, you know, or that I'm not interested. So. So what I'm going to do with this guy too, I'm going to, I'm cleaning it right now, but after I want to add a taunton pole and see if it would be comfortable to go up this way. It's, not, it's a bit weird, but it would be upside down, but I think it could work. I think I thought this out already. Yeah, some of my plants are really sticky from the last thing I did with the, the dream oil drench a little ooh, my hands are a little sticky but let me wipe all of this so so this is one of my photos propagations so that one's set to go then, We have my second one right here, which is also a propagation that was three out here trying to save. It was dying, I cut it back, add it back in here, so now I'm gonna give it a little cleaning. I really like the, and I'm not spraying on the soil, just the leaves, because I know I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm sort of nervous to know what it would do to the that. But at least the little bugs won't like it. Oh. I actually hope because I'm tired of these bugs. And I'm trying to leave the city a few times this winter and fall. So I already had a disaster this summer when I left. For a good amount of time so i want to make sure it don't happen again oh what is this guy i'm gonna clip it off it's dying that would be such a pretty natural leaf though it's really pretty yeah so <laughs> Here we have my potos all clean. We have my silly and we're gonna be doing the exact same thing. This one has like a dead leaf. So I'm just gonna snip that off. As you know, let me grab my, my little plant scissors. Shears, sorry, I think I said plant scissors leaving. Gonna just snip it without harming any leaves. And I can go back to cleaning. This is my Maranta uh, prayer plant. 
the rabbit one, I believe. So this one's a little bit more sensitive. As you can see, I have little really burnt crisp ones. So I'm going to trim it first and then I'm going to clean it. So I'm just going to chip like everything that's just not unraveling. There's a new one right here. So I'm going to chip this stuff. Let me try cutting towards you guys so you can see. Some are a bit crisp, I don't care. I feel like these ones are that can't even open. I'm gonna snap these ones off. The ones I know that really aren't doing anything with photosynthesis, I just snatch them right off. I love I love it regardless. Um, I want to buy more. And I know they're really hard to keep even just like perfect all the time because they love humidity, but this is sis. So now I'm going to have a reason to use the Q-tips because these little edges here, you know, they're just a bit, a little bit harder to get with just paper towel. So grab the Q-tips. Make sure you have time because this this takes time. I'm definitely gonna fast forward this this bit because it takes forever. It takes a lot of time, guys, but honestly, it's so worth it when you don't get a shitload of bugs. There you go. Umbrella tree is all done. This one is my um, croton. Just your regular croton. I'm being very wary because this loves spiders. I left it outside. Spiders love this plant. But I haven't gotten spider mites, just actual real spiders. And yeah, so I'm just gonna spray it down. This one is fine with paper towel. And it's time for it to move in, really. Croton's on clean, no spiders. This is my Dracaena dragon tree. It, I was letting it sit where the other plants were and I have one grow light on top of my monstera. It already started leaning because it was attracted to it. But I don't know if I can force it to just go. Did the rocks just stay put? No, okay, it's fine. This guy's honestly pretty clean. It's just my hands are a bit weird. This is just a dis this is just to dis disinfect my own hands a bit. Ugh. Sanitize whatever. I just lightly lay it on top of the leaves. Get some dirt off. You see, we have some dirt. Get some dirt off her, off sis. I really think she needed to be repotted because she was, I was watering it almost every one to two days while indoors. 
that's not normal and it's not even in a it wasn't even in a like really close to the window it's like a good i'm gonna give it a good five feet from my window four or five feet Justina is all clean. Next we have my, ooh, my Xanadu, Philodrendin Xanadu. Big and beautiful. Um, this one, I don't know why, but I had wasps that kept coming around it often. Not spiders though, but whatever. Other than that, it's been fine on bugs since I got it. It's actually beautiful. I can't wait for it to get bigger. Some of the leaves are having more of that like spikier shape I'd be seeing online. So I'm doing something right. This one I'm gonna go also very lightly. Which I know it's not really the dirtiest, just a little check in the crevices. I think that's it. <laughs> There you go. That was pretty fast. And we got some new growth over here, which is really fun and exciting. But overall, she's just happy to be here, you know? Just happy and beautiful to be here. It's a bit of a weirder angle, but this is my IV, my English IV. And I'm just going to spray it down and tickle it a bit with the Q-tips for this one. I am. I'm almost done though. Show me when you don't live alone, guys. Twenty-five. Well, to stick a bit, so you know you gotta scrub a little. Look, oh, we have some dirt. See that black stuff? It's dirt. We got some dirt. So at least I'm doing something right. Okay. Whoop. I think she's good. I think she's good to hang up and put on the other side and we're gonna hang her back at her spot. I have another one of the witch plants I was able to get this year, which is more lit up, light up, lit ups. I call them my little brain cacti. No brainer booty cacti, your choice. Cacti, sorry. They're so cute. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna clean that. I have a Q-tip for this guy. And I'm just gonna go scrub the top, really. Just make sure there's not really anything in there. getting some stuff they're just so cute and then at the same time i'm gonna do all my cactuses at the same time we have this guy right here i'll basically just treat it as if i'm treating mealy bugs really or no sorry not mealy bug scales so just Dirty lick. I like this to be a little bit faster. Mm. 
yeah, it's still sort of doing its job. And last corner, I'm just gonna spray it looking on my end. Ooh, it's just soiled, but I think we're good. So here we go, we have our nice clean cacti. Basically all of the plants that I needed to clean, I feel like I needed to clean, have been cleaned. So what I'm gonna do now, we're just gonna reorganize them really, put them back on the shelves. And then I'm going to take pictures of the propagations I actually wanna sell. Try selling on Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji. I'll try to, I'll try posting on both. And yeah, and then I'm gonna put everything away. Um, and then that's day two. Thank you.